Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today we're back with another Mark Softlight Simulator video, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at PAC-X by TFDI Design. PAC-X stands for Passenger and Crew Experience. And it, it's basically an add-on that gives you crew and passengers, as well as incidents during your flights. And we're going to be going over the plugin itself, and I will have a link in my description down below if you want to check this out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. Okay, so we have our settings here. We can auto-hide this. We can have our scene brief username. This way we can actually import our flight plans. Instant frequency realistic. And when you have a, an incident, you can choose between, like, expedite your flight, divert your flight. How long it takes for boarding. Okay, so tonight we're going to be doing this really quick flight. And I will be using the in-game flight planner. This way I don't really have to mess too much with the FMS. The last update kind of introduced some bugs to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I don't want to risk getting one of the bugs so i'm just going to use this this way we're going to have it ready to go here we are at heathrow and first thing i want to do is i want to turn on the batteries and the external power this way we can request the jetway connection let's go atc There we go. And I'm also going to request the baggage. Heathrow ground, peanuts 1123 heavy. Could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? Please? There we go. Okay, then. It kind of glitched a little bit. At least now it's working. So let's ask for the baggage now. Heathrow ground, peanuts one one two three heavy. Could you please send the baggage? There we go. Peanuts one one two three heavy baggage is on the way. Okay, let's set this one up. So I haven't shown this bit yet. So. You you actually can start your flight, you can manage your career, so if you have an existing one you can modify it a little bit by setting like ticket price, service quality, reputation. You can also make a new one, then you can actually enable aircraft restriction or hardcore mode. When you restrict the aircraft by rank, you only rank up by flying more, so more flights, more flight hours. You can also see past flights. This is a test flight where I was testing this add-on. You can also get awards by flying. The more you fly, the more awards you get. So, let's do career moon. We're going out of Heathrow and we're going to Manchester. 180. Let's do 190. Uh, flight time, let's say 15 minutes and 15 minutes for takeoff. We are gonna have a hundred passengers and we are flying a A320. No snacks or drinks and no meals. I will be using a custom safety briefing by EasyJet and I will have a link for this in my description down below. Let's get the APU going. Okay, cost index, let's do 40. Cruise one minor zero. Uh, 
A nice tip for you guys, if you're flying the A32NX, A320, you can actually double click this. Bam. It's not really working for the block, but you can just check you can just check up here. Let's go for performance. You can also double click this. Where? Clear. Clear. Bam. There we go. We're gonna be doing flaps one. Let's check the ATIS. And let's see how long for the boarding. We are still boarding. Five minutes. Two nine three one. Okay, 2931. And a really nice thing you can do here, if you go here, you can actually check all of your passengers. You can even check by name. You can see if they're hungry, thirsty, seated. It's really, really nice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to welcome you aboard our flight. When you find your seat, please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bins and smaller items underneath the seat in front of you. Unless you're in the front row, please place all of your items in the overhead Flap open, but we have about four minutes left still. Items, please let a flight attendant know and we would be happy to assist you. If the overhead bin is full, Let's crank please make sure you close it as a right in the middle. to other passengers. Please double check that all your items are put away so that the aisle is clear and other passengers can make their way to their seats. If you're in an emergency exit row, please read the exit seating responsibilities in the card in the seat back in front of you. If you're not able to comply with these actions, please let a flight attendant know so that way you can be reseated. Now's the time to get out any last minute text messages if you need to, but we ask that once we depart from the gate, you put away any laptops or tablets. Thank you and welcome aboard. We have about two minutes left, so I'm gonna start the APU in just a bit. Let's get this one going, and then we can open up the APU bleed. There we go. Flight director goes on, constraints on. We are ready to go when you are. Thank you. Okay, that's not it. This is it. So let's disconnect the jetway. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 123, the service to Manchester. Our flight time will be roughly 50 minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in a full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew secure doors for departure. Okay, so APU is available. Good. External power goes off. Let's move this to ignition start. Parking brake goes off. Let's request a pushback, which I did by pressing shift, shift P. Okay, looking good. Okay, we're looking good. So as we're gonna start moving, let's turn on the beacon. And the taxi lights. Seat belts and no smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask for your attention while we take you through the safety procedures on this aircraft. A safety card is in your seat pocket showing the exit routes, oxygen masks, life jackets and brace position that you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear, four in the middle and two at the front. 
front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. Please be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted, and released as shown. It must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on, and we recommend that you keep it fastened at all times. If the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and mouth. Hold in place with the strap. Pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take the life jacket from under your seat. Put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist. Click together. And pull the strap to adjust. Okay, available. Do not inflate it inside the aircraft. When outside, inflate by pulling the toggle. If it fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into okay, so the Okay, so we are on taxi, seatbelts are a on. and whistle for attracting attention. We also carry flotation aids for children. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrest down. We can start taxiing, even on one fast. engine. We wish you a pleasant flight with EasyJet. Okay, clear left and right. Let's move the ignition back to normal, engine mode. APU bleed and APU goes off. Both engines are working. We're going to be taking a left here. And looks like our departure will be on schedule. A little bit earlier even. Let's stop here so we can check everything. So, engine mode on normal. Flaps for takeoff. Speed brake is armed. Takeoff lights. Strobe as we're going into the runway. Let's leave it on auto. Okay, looking good.
Okay, so we have flaps for takeoff, and we're ready to go. V1, rotate. Landing gear up. Flaps up. Let's turn on the autopilot. There we go. Let's disarm the spoilers, there we go. And we can turn off the landing lights. Oof. We're gonna be passing 10,000 shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now passed 10,000 feet, so you may turn on larger portable electronic devices. This is also a reminder to please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the duration of the flight and do not form a line near the laboratory. Okay, seat belt goes off as well as the no smoke. Okay, so we just started our descent. We have seat belts on. We have begun our final descent into Manchester. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Okay, so there we have the airport, we have flaps 1. And we're gonna be like a couple of minutes late.
landing gear down. Let's arm you, let's get medium brakes on. We're going to be landing at this runway, which I think it's 23 right. Okay, we have runway in sight. A little bit too high, a little bit too high. Let's see if we can burn some altitude. There we go. We are a little bit too fast, but... There we go. Um, there we go, retarder, reversers. Flaps up. Gentlemen, welcome to Manchester. The local time is 9.20 a.m. and it's currently about negative degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have shifted during the flight. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us and we hope to see you again soon. Manchester ground, peanuts one one two three heavy request taxi to the gate. Peanuts one one two three heavy taxi to gate four zero using taxi way, Bravo Charlie. Taxiing to gate four zero via taxi way, Bravo Charlie. Peanuts one one two three heavy. Okay, let's go taxi lights. Strobe goes off. We can close you. Uh, 
And passengers satisfaction 97%. That's really, really nice. Very happy about that. And the gates are just over there, so just a short taxi there. Okay, nice, nice and easy. Go nice and easy. Let's get it just on the right spot. There we go. Parking brake set. And is the APU available? Turning off engine number one. Let's request a uh, jetway. Ground surfaces. Jetway connection. And Please connect the jetway to the aircraft. There we go. Off as well. Stay on. APU is available, now we can turn off engine number 2. Okay, they're gonna start deboarding. As you can see. They are very satisfied, 97%. Somewhat tired. Very hungry, very thirsty. Let's see how long this will take. We're still planning. Four minutes, three minutes, okay. Can we expedite deboarding? We'll see what we can do. No promises. 
two minutes, okay. About halfway there, okay. And it did go down by 1%. I wonder if it's because I expedited the, the burden or maybe it's because we're sitting here not doing much. I wonder. There we go. Last one's out. Can we end the flight now? We can. Okay, so here you can see flight time, actual arrival, plan arrival, very satisfied, landing rate, not, not that smooth, but it could be a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Um, some food, okay. I'll definitely be recommending you at work, thank you, thank you. That's very, very nice. I guess we can try having some food next time. We can try that. Let's save the flight. This is Pack X by TFDI Design. I hope you guys enjoyed this add-on as much as I did. I really enjoyed this, especially because you can actually see the passengers board and, and deboard in your airplane. I will have a link in my description down below for both the Pack X and the package with crew announcements and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe it helps me out a lot it also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content and i hope to see you all again real soon and until then i hope you stay safe fly safe bye bye